Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the beautiful Barat Succession campaign that myself and Hufflebuff have been running. So, if you haven't done so already, go subscribe to Hufflebuff. Do it now. Although, by this point in the episode, uh, by this point in the series, if you haven't done it, you're just, you're doing it wrong, man. But, if you don't subscribe to Hufflebuff, you guys are going to theoretically miss half the series. Alright, that out of the way, I do apologize for the uh, inconsistency of this series over the last few days. Been pretty busy with uh, real life matters. Hopefully that should settle down before too much longer. But today we're back in Birat, and I'm quite excited for that. So we're about to finish integrating Assam, which is very nice. And we're going to be picking up Sadia as a uh, vassal. That being said, my initial plan to uh, feed Sadia all of uh, Ava is kind of a problem now because we're not a Ming tributary anymore. But we do have an alliance with Ming. We do have an alliance, that's the thing. That being said, I mean, I see a lot of his troops right now, but look at his mandate. I mean, he's ta he'd, take, he'd take more shock and fire damage right now. And he doesn't have any more um, <clears throat> reforms to pass. Hmm, this could be a golden op- uh, We're already allied, so I think it's probably a little late now. Oh well. That's not too bad. So we need to get this 26 stack home because I want to go to war with Bakmanis. They have no allies. And I want to uh, I want to release Gujarat as a subject to make him core a lot of this stuff. We can eat this ourselves probably. But uh, I would like to at least get another subject out on the uh, western edge of our country to start coring some of that. We're still colonizing like mad. We have no reason to be improving with the Ottomans, I think, since we now have that... Uh, m Ming Alliance. Let's see about getting this stack back to uh, Dhaka, I suppose. Without any further ado, let's just dive right back in. Oh, okay. Uh, before I forget, wait a minute. I see. Su Never mind. I found a subject. <laughs> he just popped out. But uh, before I forget, we're gonna go ahead and disinherit this 116, so that hopefully not Hufflebuff becomes definitely not Hufflebuff. I would hate to pass on a 116 heir. I would feel terrible. Uh, ooh, base tax. Ooh, this colony's almost done, too. Nice. Very nice. We're still making a decent bit of money with all of our colonization efforts currently. I think we... Well, we still have the cape, which is awesome. We could add this to a trade company, and I think we probably will once we start to get over here into Zanzibar. Which, pr which we probably should do in the not-too-distant future. I mean, these are already within, uh... These are already trade company provinces, so that's fine. We could go snag that. But I think what we might go ahead and do is just uh, fabricate some claims here on uh, against Betsy Misaraka. Possibly Kilwa as well. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. First, I'd like to do a little more consolidating within, um, within our realm. I'm going to go ahead and be the one who... Uh, Fires off this royal marriage with Ming so that Hufflebuff can decide if he wants to keep it or not. There we go. That's going to be fine. That'll disappear. Okay, so cores. We still have a couple of cores to make. Let's go ahead and do that at this point. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we might as well full core Malvi as well. It's pretty cheap at this point. And uh, I believe... Wait, Mal where was Malvi then? I'm very confused suddenly. Um... Is it over here? I, I'm not going to question it. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. So I want to go to war with Bogmanis. Our manpower is pretty solid right now. We have plenty of money. Let's see if we can get some more manpower buildings built. Might as well build them in the uh, nobilities provinces. So we get that extra manpower from them. That's going to be just fine. Excellent. So we should we leave this 20 stack down here to come in from the south? Mm, I don't think so. Now, I think what we're going to do with this 20 stack is bring it to Kurnul. We'll take this 18 stack to Bastar. And then this 26 stack will head out to uh, Kandesh and Mandu. We'll go ahead and declare war. Let's see, you're allied to Multan already. Multan wouldn't help. Um, yeah, we're just going to subject. Well, hold on. Let's check what this guy's cores are. Okay, never mind. I want it to. I want to subjugate a... Uh, nation with a decent number of cores and Gujarat definitely has a decent number of cores so we're, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, attack Bakmanis that's gonna be fine 
That's going to be just fine. We did lose 50 prestige moments ago, but I think we'll be okay there. As far as ideas go, we're still working on expansion, and we're not quite to uh, admin tech 14 yet. That being said, we are just drowning in mill points right now. Uh, what do we do with said mill points? Well, for now we're going to hold on to them, because we might do a little bit of dev bombing uh, come 1550 when printing press spawns. Oh, hey, more rebels in Psy. That's a problem. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. That's okay, though. What's our force limit? Um, we could go up to... Uh, we could get another stack rolling around. Wouldn't be opposed to that. This is 23 boats. That's going to be fine. Yeah, let's just try and get down here as quickly as possible. I think we should. I mean, it's one trip for this 20 stack, and then it'll be one trip for that 18 stack. Actually, in the process, let's march this 18 stack as far south as we can. All right, separatism in Pasai. That's not terrible, I suppose. We need to get you guys, like, back over here. Actually, I think that might be faster. Just go to Coromandel. Speaking of Core Mandel, that actually reminds me, I've been looking at the uh, dev diaries for the next expansion, and it does, there's quite a few changes coming to India, and I, I'm pretty excited about them overall. I think they are uh, going to be rather good, reworking the trade nodes a little bit. You guys should have, check that out if you haven't already, I would highly recommend it. Do, do, do. So buildings, Ooh, we could build some... Uh, build a tax building on Mauritius. I don't think that's well worth it, but we're going to build that production building over in Dhaka. And we're going to definitely build a manufacturing in Madurai on that uh, silk. Absolutely, we're going to be doing that. Okay, so this is a jungle province. Let's just go before we take excess attrition. Okay, integration. There we go. Assam is integrated. Let's ch finish this battle. And then we will... Uh, We'll leave the 18 stack down here, I think, for now. We'll take the 20 stack back. You guys can just chill there. Bring the fleet around to pick them up. Get a little uh, replenishment going first. I think that's going to be just fine. Something has started to produce fur? Where is that? Is Wait, there? Oh, interesting. Okay. How are we doing cash flow-wise? Now that one of our colonies is finished up, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Hmm. All right. Well, Assam is now a uh, part of our country, which is fantastic. These are full cores. For sure, these are going to be full. Yeah, this is already part of our state. This is already part of our state. We have missionary strength going there, which is fine. Let's see, I think we are working on... Con are we working on converting this? No. What are we trying to convert at this point? Where are my missionaries? Palembang. Yes, that's right. We're working on that. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and finish these off as soon as that's done. Hmm. Now, there is something to be said at this point. I know we've invested quite a lot into uh, expansion already, but there is definitely something to be said for religious ideas in place of expansion. I'm going to have to mull that one over a little while. I don't really like the idea of abandoning an idea group we've done so much on because we won't get all of this back. That being said, I just, I'm not sure expansion is going to be the most useful thing going forward. And I would like to pick up religious so that we can go into quantity and get even more uh, morale from that or quality. You get morale from uh, a policy with religious and quality or quantity. So, I mean, that's something to consider for sure. For sure, we're going to have to think about that. Let's go ahead and full core the Murray as well. It's going to be just fine. All right, this six stack, what do we want to do with it? Well, first of all, uh, um, I want to at least even it out to an eight stack so it's not completely useless. That's fine. We'll go ahead and take this 20 stack back to uh, Valandu. Bring them back to the mainland real quick. We should be preparing for our war with Bachmanis quite soon. Quite soon. Okay, let's unpause. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and build that into Languabang. That's going to be just fine. Oh, hey, Pontianak just finished, I think, as well. That means we are down to four colonies, and we're making, like, 40 ducats a month now. That is ridiculous. Hmm, we should colonize the Cape for sure, but now that we have the Cape itself, I think we're going to be fine for the most part. 
I mean, this is five dev. Five free development, basically. Okay, where are our colonists? You don't need to be there anymore. You don't need to be there anymore. Let's go ahead and add two more colonies, shall we? We'll get this, uh... We'll get Mahe, the island of Mahe, as well. Let's see, what else do we want to snag? We might as well... We might as well colonize Banjar as well. It, it is already a Hindu province. 11 dev, that gives us a pair of footholds to get into Brunei, which I want to do in the not-too-distant future. Il Bourbon is about to finish being colonized, which is quite nice. It's quite nice. Let's see, we almost have enough spy network on... Um, Enough spy network on Betsy Misaraka to get our claim. That could be fun. That could be fun. I still think I would much rather kill Bachmanis. Let's check the ledger. Armies, Bachmanis, what are you what are you mustering right now? 20k in total. No allies. Yeah, we're going to war. We're going to take... Uh, I guess we'll make... Let's see, what is this? This is Bagal... You know what? Yeah, we'll make this the war goal. I think that's going to be fine. They are a rival, so this should be uh, quite a bit of fun. Get us some pretty good power projection overall. Let's see, we are on Miltech 12. They are on Miltech, Miltech 12. Or you can flip-flop that. Which, whichever one. I know I looked at them backwards. <laughs> It'll be fine. So we have their 20 stack coming up here to Mandla, I think. Okay. Okay, I mean, 303. Hufflebuff. I mean, it's not better overall, but the spread is slightly better. So, we'll uh, we'll hold on to this air for a little bit. I don't want to hold on to him for too long, obviously, but considering that we are currently at war, I don't really want to go ahead and sack that prestige right now. Let's get a claim on this 11 dev province. That's going to be fine. We will definitely try to conquer our way into Madagascar and Zanzibar and up the uh, East African coast in the not-too-distant future. How much aggressive expansion are we looking at right now? Because this is it, this could be a little bit of an issue. Okay, you know what? Let's abandon this siege, and I want to make sure we go deal with these guys. Because we don't have a capital fort in... Uh, we don't have a fort in between them and uh, <clears throat> our capital. Looking at this, I don't really think we need the fort in Costa anymore. It's not very defensive. We may be at war, but let's go ahead and get rid of that, actually. Uh, ooh, 100 population in one of our colonies. Lovely. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ooh, did we just get uh, careful? Ooh, nice. 10% uh, AE impact. 10% less aggressive expansion. That's going to be great. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Uh, the war goal is down. Lovely. So I guess we'll go ahead and split the cab off. No, we can't do that because we have to... Uh... Never mind, we got to go siege this fort now. All right, so let's fight this. How's this looking for us? Nine, eight to a nine there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, stack wipe. Goodbye. Goodbye. You tried. Come again. Goodbye. Another stack wipe. All right, there's the end of our golden era. That kind of hurts our morale overall, but I think we'll be fine. Wakanda, I don't want there to be devastation here. That would be bad. Don't have a fort down here, which is kind of, eh. It's whatever. Usually Mysore is that fort, I suppose. Let's go ahead and I just, I guess, go siege their capital. I mean, we are already winning. Finishing up some of our cores. Excellent. Should finish those up relatively shortly. All right, Bogmanis has summoned another uh, 10 stack of something. Infantry, probably purely mercs, would be my guess. Hey, Ilburbon is now self-sustaining. That's pretty solid. That is pretty solid. 11 dev out here. We probably should go get Komoros as well. We might as well pick off these little islands too. Being said, we should probably also continue to colonize... Um, hmm... I think we should probably continue to colonize New Zealand? I mean, it definitely couldn't hurt. This is some solid dev around here. Being said, I also would like to colonize uh, Kendari so that we can jump on these little nations right here. Hmm. So many places to colonize, so little time. Hmm. Let's consider this. Where do we want to colonize next? I'm still in favor of colonizing down in here, all things considered. There's a lot of solid dev to be had here. 
I mean, we already have Timor. Let's go ahead and just colonize uh, east and west Timor. We don't have a lazy colonist, which is fantastic. And we've converted one of those... Uh, converted one of those provinces down in uh, Indonesia. Let's see. Is that the last one? Yes, it was. Excellent. We can go ahead and turn off the uh, edict down there for local missionary strength. We can also still make a bunch of states, which I really want to, but... We are, uh, well, we're actually not going to take too much land ourselves in this war, to be honest. All things considered, we're really not going to take that much. There's Cologne, or no, that's Printing Press. Printing Press, my bad. Uh, yes, it has spawned in Ansbach. So, you know what? Here in Katak, I'm going to hit that twice. That's fine. How close? That got us 14% of the way towards, um, Printing Press. Let's see. Reassessment survey. How's our professionalism? Could be higher. Mao was a pretty good province, if I remember. Or a pretty good state. Yeah. Let's go ahead. I guess let's take the manpower hit. Just to avoid the uprisings, I think that's going to be better. Let's just have you go up here to East Berar. We should probably have built a fort somewhere down in here at some point. But, alas, it is what it is. It would have protected our heartland a little bit better. We'll just have to rotate back with uh, one of our stacks. Alright, all of our uh, cores are now finished, which is glorious. Yeah, we'll just rotate back with whichever stack finishes these sieges first. Which, uh, apparently is not going to go any way, shape, or form in our favor. It's always fun, isn't it? All right, uh, where's our next colony? Yep, East Timor. And then West Timor shortly after, since we already have uh, Timor itself colonized. It's a pretty solid little island. Actually, scratch that. We're going to the Spice Islands now that I think about it. We're going to just drop a colony here and then go co then go kill off those two little... Um, we're going to go kill off Turn 8 and Tidor. More population. All right, sieges have finished. Excellent. Guess what? You're dead. <laughs> I will fight you. Okay, so 74. We should be able to get pretty much everything we want in this war. Let's see. How much of a coalition is this? This is a massive coalition. That being said, I mean, this is really... I would like Mahur as well, just to finish off the uh, state here. I think let's do that. Let's just do that. It is a lot of aggressive expansion, but we're going to be giving all of this over to Gujarat anyway. And then we'll just be able to fight a bunch of reconquest wars through here. So I think this is going to be just fine. It's not like we really need the money, but I think we're going to be fine with this. Excellent. So you guys can now go here. Uh, let's see. We need better supply for that. You guys go there. Okay. So there's our mission fulfilled. A long time ago, we had this uh, conquer... Telangana mission. So this will get us 100 admin, yearly prestige for 20 years, and this was the last province we needed on it. So that's part of the reason I took it. Let's go ahead and grab that for the extra admin. And that is the last of the custom uh, Orissa missions that we had available to us. These are all because we played as, or started out as Orissa. It's the only reason we have these. Alright, we need to do some cores. Guess what? We only need to core one of them now that I think about it. And then we're going to go like this. And we're going to release Gujarat. Where for... Oh, there you are, Gujarat. Just to check, you get... Uh, Surat and... Can oh, they get Kandesh as well. Oh, I didn't realize that a core on Gandesh. Kandesh. Hmm. Well, Bengala has some... No, Bengala has no cores. Well, they have... No, I would much rather release Gujarat. Even if it means getting giving them Kandesh, I think I'm going to be just fine with that, honestly. I think we're going to be fine with that. We'll, we'll do whatever we need to do with it later, but releasing Gujarat is going to... Uh, ooh, they're going to be Hindu, too. It's going to basically get us a bunch of Reconquest stuff here, and then from here, we're going to go like... Uh, we're going to go to Gujarat, and we're going to Grant Province, and that one. Nope, I can't do it that way. You can't click on it, unfortunately. Grant Province, what is this? Bagala? Ba Baglana, there we go. Ta-da! Now, now you deal with it, Gujarat. That's going to be just fine. 
All right. Well, that was pretty productive. As we can tell, um, let's look at Gujarat's cores. Yeah, that's a lot of cores. Oh, hey, Maywar, do you want to fight? Okay. We could fight. Uh, who would get involved? You could fight Maywar and feed uh, Gujarat a bunch of his cores. Let's see. He's only got three on Maywar itself, but we could feed him Maywar itself as well. That is a 20 dev province. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to think about that a little bit. We'll have to think about that a little bit. We did maintain control of Mandu, though. Still haven't accepted... What is that? Malvi culture? Yeah, we're at our maximum cultures, though. So I think that's fine. Sumatran is definitely fine being accepted. Castile! Why can I rival you? Question mark. I'm very puzzled by this. Hi, Castile. What's up, buddy? What's your diplomatic situation? Okay, you have a Savoy as a vassal. Okay. Allied to GB, Portugal, and Genoa. Okay. Sure. I'm, I'm not going to question it. I'm definitely not going to question it. Yes, let's rival someone we only have seen one island of. Seems legit. Seems legit. It'll be fine. How long till this truce is up? It's going to be a while. Before our truce with uh, Vigi's up. 56. Not terrible. Uh, let's see here. We could go to war with Jean Poor. We have permanent claims. But I would. I think we are just going to go to war with Maywar. Reclaim cores. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, we'll just use one of our stacks. I mean, this stack we can use. Let's, I, we might as well at least bring it into the area. This stack down here is just chilling, which is fine. Let's check the Separatist movements. We have some Pegu Separatists, which is not ideal by any means. But um, we're going to do a little trick here since it's at exactly 10 unrest. We're going to state, raise autonomy, raise autonomy, unstate. Ta-da! That pretty well takes care of that. Yep, no more Pegu Separatists. Good stuff. Gujarat. Um, we definitely want the royal marriage with Gujarat, so we'll go ahead and pick that up. It's going to be just fine. No, I didn't want to split the army. I wanted to leave the cavalry behind. There we go. Now we can just send the cavalry to occupy things. And if we're, you know what, if we're quick enough about this, we can go ahead and, uh, hmm... I don't know. We may end up having... Well, we're going to have to fight Sind anyway. He's allied to Mahra, Timmy, and Jampur. That's going to be fine. Can definitely break that up um, in the not-too-distant future. Can you escape? That's unfortunate. Oh, well. We do have another stack in the area, so this is going to be fine. Guess we'll have you try and escape as well. Well, oh well. That's cavalry gone. That's going to be fine. It's fine. I was hoping just to get some carpet sieging going, but alas, we were unable to. So be it. It is what it is. Go ahead and just do, do, do. Drop one infantry off there. Take the cannons back to the siege. Speed this up. Leave the 28 stack there. Ooh, mercantilism. Yes, please. Give me. Give me much mercantilism. This is so glorious. All right, trade. Uh, we could build, we could start building stuff. Um, hmm. Let's see. Where's Costa? Not sure where that is. Let's see. So we have trade in here. I think we'll be fine, actually. Let's hold off on building trade buildings. If anything, let's keep working on our manufactories at this point. No reason not to. Manufactories are glorious. All right. So Kashmir has, uh, allied Nepal. Cool. Good, good for them, I guess. Go ahead and bring this one stack over here. We'll crush down Maywar, and then I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for today, even if we are in the middle of a war. Should be fine. See? See? Totally fine. Siege the damn fort already. No, it'll be fine. All right, we'll throw another manpower building in uh, Core Mandel, and then we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here. So, as always, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in, spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. 
If you're enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel out and subscribe for more Grand Strategy content in the future. My name is Ori. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next one.